Okay, so we've got an athlete and two hurdles, and if he jumps the first one, the probability of him uh, jumping the second one will change. So it's a conditional question. And we're asked, what's the probability he will hit one hurdle? Now, one hurdle does not mean two hurdles. One hurdle means exactly one hurdle. So you've got to be careful with the question. Okay, so we start here. And if he jumps the first one, then we're looking at him hitting the second one because he has to hit a hurdle. So we're looking at him hitting the second one. If, however, he hits the first one, he can't hit the second one, otherwise we'll end up uh, hitting two hurdles, and it says it will hit one hurdle. So he has to jump the second one. So he's either going to hit the first one or the second one. Okay, what we need to do next is work out the probabilities he will jump the first one then hit the second one. So we just get the two fractions and times them together. So that would be 4 over 70. No need to cancel at this point. Okay, and let's work out the property you hit the first one and then jump the second one. So that's 3 over 7 times 10 over 13. So that's going to be 30. And then I could do this in the calculator, I would just do it in my head, over 91. Okay, now we're either going to end up here, where he's hit the second one, or here, where he's hit the first one. The word or in probability means add. So he's either going to hit the second one or, which in probability is add, hit the first one. So on the calculator, because this is a calculator question, so it would be 4 over 70 plus 30 over 91. So that's going to be 176 over 455 and let the calculator do the hard work there. Now if it's a non-calculator question generally speaking the denominators of the fraction are a little bit simpler and they tend to to do those on the independent ones uh, because they can manipulate the denominators a little bit more.